Earth. Population, 7 billion. Beautiful and bountiful, but perhaps not for long. As the human population continues to grow, resources diminish and species go extinct. Cities must enlarge in order to accommodate the growing number of people. Natural environments such as exotic rainforests and vast deserts are slowly decaying as more and more problems arise due to population. How do we meet the needs of people while still preserving Earth's finite resources and biodiversity? Population growth is exponential, at least that is what history has shown. It has doubled in 40 years and may double again soon. There are different predictions on Earth's population for the future. Some believe it will stabilize at around 8.5 billion people as more countries become developed. Others believe that without taking action on a global scale right now, world population will continue to grow. This graph shows different outcomes. The black and blue lines show our population over time. The red, orange, and green lines show either population continuing to grow, leveling out in some time, or dropping very soon. Before you make your own guess on where it will go, you must first learn about the world's population growth rate over time. A growth rate of 2.0% 2, 2 means that each year the world's population grows by 2% the population of last year. It has been dropping ever since its peak in the mid-1960s. Therefore, percentage-wise, the human population is growing slower than it has in a long time. Our population is only growing faster than ever simply due to the significantly large number of people on Earth. For example, one million people with a growth rate of 2% will grow faster than a group of 100 people and a growth rate of 5%. How do you define overpopulation? We asked Donna Leonetti, a professor from Washington University. She said, above the level of sustainability, and by sustainability, I mean not only feeding the human population, but providing a habitat for other species. You can conclude that overpopulation isn't simply too many people. It is the point in which population causes problems with the human species or other species. What makes this issue extremely difficult to solve is the complexity of it. Pollution? unemployment, poverty, disease, and many more issues are all thought to be tied to overpopulation. When population changes, these problems change. Overconsumption and overpopulation underlie every environmental problem we face today. A quote by Jacques Vez Cousteau, a French ecologist and author. Some would go as far to say that this is an understatement. Overpopulation and overconsumption cause even more problems than we realize. Many factors contribute to rapid growth. Countries that are not developed, such as Kenya, Niger, and Mali, are experiencing high birth rates, but also moderately high death rates. This is because medicine and treatment for health issues are not common. Therefore, families have many children to ensure two to three survive until their teen or adulthood. Total fertility rate is the average number of children a woman has in her life. Niger has the highest, nearing eight children per woman. This creates a balance with some countries in Eastern Europe where TFRs are as low as 1.2. Each year the country loses population. Population growth also has numerous effects on the environment. Deforestation, pollution, climate change, and much more affect the world we live in heavily. Natural resources are being used up faster than ever. The more people, the more resources are needed. Habitats for animals are disappearing as cities grow and resources are used up. What are you doing to help stop this? We're not asking you to limit your family size, but rather help prevent the effects of overpopulation. Do your share by doing simple things like cutting down on energy use and recycling when necessary. Problems as complex as overpopulation have been dealt with in the past. Let's solve this and move on. Yeah.